All right, so this is a video talking about probability, and uh, I already did drew in a couple uh, numbers here to talk about uh, probability with Venn diagrams because there may be more than a couple of conditions here. So rather than just simply saying how many people play basketball, you can ask a, a double variable or a, a, a multiple variable question like who likes basketball and football or who plays basketball and football or who plays basketball but not football. Things like that. So uh, this is this kind of question, and so it's about sports here. Okay, so I want us to pay attention to just this circle. So you notice that there's two circles, a Venn diagram, two overlapping circles. But when you ask the question, how many people like basketball, it's not just 12, because there's 25 people who overlap with football. But you need to include the 12 with the 25. So there are a total of 37 people who like basketball, and the 37 is 12 plus 25. So even though the 25 isn't necessarily just with basketball, it's 25 plus 12 people like basketball. So it's the combination of both. But we can also say that only 12 people like basketball only. Like these 12 right here, only like basketball. They don't like football. So there's 12 people that like basketball only, but as we said before, it's 37 people because the 25 are included with that. So the same would go for football. Okay, let's go ahead and circle the football circle here. So how many people like football? It's not just 34. There are 34 plus 25 people. So that gives me a total of 59. So there are 59 total people that like football. But there's only... If there's only 34 people that feel like football only. So if it was only football, it would be only 34 people. Okay, And then you'll notice the, the middle number here is 25. So these are the people that represent how many people like basketball and football. They like them both. And so it's not just one, it's they like them both. Okay, And then you'll notice this number on the outside here, this 19. Okay, And that represents... People who don't like basketball or football. They just don't care for either sport, which personally that offends me because I love both those sports. But it, it, again, it's a survey and I love honesty. Uh, and so the, these particular participants in the survey did not like either sport. But it's important to keep that in the count. Especially when you're doing probabilities because you need to add all these numbers together. So 19 plus 12 plus 25 plus 34. So if I'm doing my math right, 0 carry the 2. 5, 6, 7. I, mean, I have 90 people is what I think. Let me double check here. 31 plus 25 is 56. 56 plus 34 is 90. Okay. So there are 90 total people that they surveyed. To, uh, and of those 90, so I'll write 90 people up here. Okay. Of those 90, 19 don't like either sport, 12 only like basketball, 34 only like football, 25 like both, okay? So if I ask you a question in regards as, how many, what's the probability that I pick a person in the survey that likes both sports, likes basketball and football? So you'd say, oh, well, there's 25 people who like basketball and football, okay? So you would do 25 over 90, because there were 90 people surveyed, okay? So 25 divided by 90, whatever the decimal is, and then of course, if you want to turn it to a percent, there you go. And then, let's say I wanted to ask you another question. Let's say I wanted to ask you, how many people in the survey, what's the probability that I pick a person that likes football only, okay? So football only is this number here, 34 people. So 34 divided by 90 people that were surveyed. It gives us our answer. All right, here's where it gets tricky. What's the probability that I pick somebody who likes basketball? Okay, I know what you're thinking. Oh, 12 people like basketball, right? So 12 out of 90. But remember, this middle number needs to be included because these people also like basketball. All these people like basketball. So 12 plus 25 is not just 12, but it is 27, or 37, excuse me. So 37 people like basketball. 
Okay, so that's what you just need to be aware of for that. And there's other problems where you, it's going to give you certain things, but not others, and you need to do the math to find that out. But here's kind of a basic explanation of how Venn diagrams work uh, and how to do probabilities with them.